It's the time for the Colts now, the Judd Monty Royal Lodge Stakes. It's a Group 2 over the mile for the two-year-olds once again. And again, we'll be seeing some of these potentially in the Guineas, more likely the Derby next season. Hopefully some of these will come back. Balin Mill, 11-2 for Martin Leedham. Blunt Instrument for Leon Van Rensburg. Lucifer for Paul O'Neill. Mercury Rising for Paul Rhodes. Rourke Strift for Joshua Sutherland. Shinrack Row for Al Costello. And Woodbridge Echo is the 9-4 favourite for James Shea. Only seven got a post. Some of these big two-year-old races uh, have been a bit undersubscribed this season. But never mind, we're off in the Royal Lodge. As Balin Caramel takes it up for Martin Leader. Rourke's Drift is going to get to the front note. And in usual Josh Sutherland style horse fashion, Rourke's Drift is in front. Mercury Rising is on the outside for Paul Rhodes. Shinrack Row for Arco Stello is in third. Rourke's Drift takes them into the final six in the Royal Lodge and is going along quite nicely. From Mercury Rising, Shinrack Row, Lucifer is in fourth and then there's a group of three at the back the favorite would be jacko balancara mill and blunt instrument who are being held on to to try and make a late dash rock drift is in front by about two to mercury rising who's sitting off the rails shinrack row is on the rail in third but that's now been taken by lucifer in the red and green Shinrack Row now battling back in the white on the rail as Rourke's Drift takes them into the final three furlongs and starts to pick up the pace. It's Rourke's Drift from Lucifer who's cantering in behind and looking the danger at the moment. Coming from the back is Balin Colour Mill, but it is Rourke's Drift has managed to nick another couple of legs. Balin Colour Mill for Martin Needham is making a good charge home as well, Lucifer's coming too, there's nothing else really making any inroads into the final furlong it's Rourke's Drift, can Rourke's Drift hold on, here's Balin Mill for Martin Leader, and down the outside flashing at the Paul Rose and Rensburg horses, but Lucifer now takes it up it's Lucifer for Paul O'Neill, on the rail, it's a big one for Paul O'Neill Lucifer wins the Chad Monty Royal Lodge Stakes what a result that is for Paul O'Neill as Lucifer takes the Judd Monty Royal Lodge Stakes in the red and green. 14 to 1 year winner. Woodbridge Jacko did fly home for second. Didn't see that one coming. But there it is. Lucifer for Paul O'Neill. Your 14 to 1 winner of the Judd Monty Royal Lodge. Great win for Paul. Well done. Woodbridge Jacko second for James Shea. The 64 favourite. Mercury Rising held on for third.